On Friday, a Piper Navajo twin-engine plane crashed into a house, killing the pilot. Now, an I-Team analysis shows just how much worse the crash nearly was. I-Team reporter Jonathan Humbert joins us now, and you track the possible final path. It could have hit schools, it could have hit other houses, even a hospital. Absolutely. Impossible is the key word here, Paula. We combined eyewitness accounts, trajectory data, and satellite imagery to create a possible final path for that flight. What we found may be surprising. It's only our best estimate, a possibility of where the plane could have crashed instead. The plane hit near two homes, but it could have crashed into a community center, a shopping center, a hospital, and half a dozen schools filled with children. Letters From where Dave Lerner sits, the, it could have been anything at this point in time. So finding the, answers. The engine and what happened to the engine has taken a back seat to the possibilities of what could have been. We don't plan correctly for airports. Lerner is the president of the Clark County Aviation Association. Like many, he thinks last week's crash is a wake-up call to the community to keep areas around airports clear. We must curb development in certain areas. New analysis by the I-Team shows the probable path of the plane over its final five-mile range. Eyewitnesses said they saw the plane flying over Fort Apache and Alexander. Aiming for the North Las Vegas airport, pilot Bill Leahy flew over two elementary schools near Fort Apache and then a community center near Durango. As the plane sputtered and the right engine caught fire, it passed over a cluster of three schools near Gowan and Cimarron. The trajectory also shows the plane going over a nearby library, park, Mountain View Hospital, the 95, and Cheyenne Commons Community Center. It also started to come down near Bunker Elementary, just a half mile away from the crash. Bunker would have had over 500 children inside at the time. Lerner says the plane had to be low, trying to get to the ground before the airport. He was trying to get it down on Jones. That's when it clipped the power lines and hit near the homes. A deadly final flight, but with a possible path that could have been much worse. The flight paths are safe. Uh, the accidents are statistical improbabilities. Again, this is only a possible final flight pattern. Flight tracking programs only indicate its takeoff, not the plane's attempt to fly back.